Part 3. Group Formation Membership In the first training module, the facilitator begins by reminding the group of the preparatory meeting at which they met the prospective group for the first time and ask them what they have remembered from that meeting. The facilitator then reminds the new group of the qualities needed in members of a community-based savings group. Members must have confidence in each other, a reputation for honesty, a cooperative personality, the ability to save regularly even in small amounts, the ability to repay loans reliably and importantly, the ability to meet regularly at the time and place decided by the group. A CBSG will struggle to function properly if its members do not possess these characteristics. The individuals present should think carefully about whether or not they want to carry on as members of the group. If any individuals decide not to continue, they should withdraw before the next meeting and there is no reason for them to feel embarrassed and under no circumstances should the facilitator pressure any individual to continue. Certain individuals may possess all of these characteristics but have limited time for meetings or migrate frequently for work. These individuals are ill-suited to be members of a CBSG. In this case, their household may be better represented by a more sedentary member of the family, regardless of whether that individual is the main income earner. It is common for adolescents, young adults and the elderly to participate in a CBSG, representing their household. Once the group has finalised its membership, it should choose a name, and the facilitator assigns the group a number which uniquely identifies the group in the management information system. The group is owned, managed and operated by its members. All transactions and record keeping are performed by the members themselves, not the facilitator. A management committee is required to perform the various roles and responsibilities in the group. All members are responsible for setting the rules and regulations of the group in a written constitution. The management committee enforces the rules which are established by the group and takes responsibility for running meetings and representing the group to outsiders. In other words, the management committee works for the group. All members have the same rights in the group. In voting, the rule of one person, one vote applies. All members have the right to be elected to the management committee, and all members have the right to and should vote to elect the management committee. If the management committee does not do its work well, the group may replace it, or any one of its members, by calling a special meeting, discussing the matter and holding new management committee elections if necessary. All members have the right to propose an issue to be discussed in a meeting. These discussions take place after the savings and loan activities are completed. Management Committee Each CBSG has a five-person elected management committee. The management committee enforces the rules which are established by the group, manages the procedures of the meeting and conducts the financial operations and record-keeping of the group. The management committee is composed of a chairperson, a record keeper, a box keeper and two money counters. The roles and responsibilities of the management committee members are clearly defined and highly decentralised. This is to encourage the participation of more members in the operations of the group and to protect the group from being dominated by a single individual. The election of the management committee is perhaps the most important step of the entire one-year training cycle. A group that elects a suitable management committee with individuals that are qualified to undertake their respective responsibilities can become autonomous very quickly, often within six months. Conversely, groups can be significantly handicapped if management committee members do not have the skills or personal qualities to fulfil their respective roles. Prior to the election of the management committee, the facilitator must carefully explain the responsibilities and ideal qualities of each committee member. The chairperson ensures that the meetings follow proper procedure and that the constitution is followed and respected, maintains order and discipline and charges fines when the rules and regulations of the group are broken, moderates group discussions ensuring that the views of all members are considered and respected, moderates and seeks to resolve conflicts, 
and represents the group to outsiders, including local government officials, community leaders and AKF. The chairperson must be a well-respected member of the community with a reputation for honesty, integrity and fairness. The chairperson should have strong presence and be confident, calm and at ease speaking in front of others. The record keeper ensures that all financial transactions concerning the social fund, savings and lending take place according to procedure, makes all passbook entries for savings and loan transactions, provides a verbal summary of the financial state of the group's affairs at every meeting, and assists the facilitator to update his or her records during monitoring visits. This is perhaps the most important management committee position. A competent record keeper improves the quality of records, ensures meetings are efficient and thus not too long, and greatly increases the confidence of the members as the financial position of the group is clear at the end of each meeting. The record keeper need not have advanced literacy skills but should be able to read and write. More importantly, the record keeper must be good with numbers. The box keeper keeps the cash box in between meetings manages the daily savings option of the group, taking savings deposits in between meetings, placing money through the slot in the box, issuing tokens and keeping a simple temporary record, and replaces the record keeper in their absence. The box keeper must also be good with numbers and able to keep a simple record for daily savings in between meetings. The box keeper must live in a secure house close to the meeting site and come from a family with a strong reputation for honesty. There are two money counters. The money counters verify all movements of money both in and out of the cash box, count the money during each transaction and announce the amount to the record keeper, and assist the record keeper in resolving any cash discrepancies. The money counters must be calm, organised and very comfortable counting money. All members of the management committee must be honest, well organised, reliable and punctual. And it should be clear that each position has specific responsibilities which require a different set of skills and qualities. Management committee elections. Before initiating the election of the management committee, the facilitator prepares the members for the election and clearly explains the entire process. For each position of the management committee, at least two candidates must be nominated. Nominations can be made by any member. Nominated members must agree to stand for election. If they do not want to be considered, they have the right to refuse and should not be pressured into standing for election to the management committee. The facilitator displays the materials used in the election procedures. Three bags, each of a different colour, three cards in the same colours as the bags, and a number of metal tokens, equal to the number of members. For each position, each candidate is represented by a coloured card, which they hold up, and a bag of the same colour is placed at some distance from the gathering and sheltered from view of members and passers-by. Each member, in turn, is given a metal token and, hidden from the members but under the eye of the facilitator, deposits the token in the bag of their choice. When all members have voted, the facilitator counts the votes in front of the members by removing the tokens from each bag. The facilitator declares the winner and confirms that the total of the metal tokens in the bags is equal to the total handed out at the start of the process. The facilitator then facilitates the election process for each of the management committee position. For each position, the roles and responsibilities of the position should be discussed, nominations made, the merits of each candidate openly discussed and the election completed before the next position is considered. The group may decide, however, that it needs time to think over whom it would like to elect to each position. In this case, the election can be postponed until the next meeting, but the election must be completed before the group moves on to the next stage of training. The management committee serves for one cycle, which is generally not more than one year after which new elections are held. Elections must be held at the beginning of every cycle to ensure that all members have an equal opportunity to serve in the management committee and avoid the group being dominated by a few individuals. Also, by having regular elections, management committee members are reminded that they need to do their job well if they want to keep their position. 
Once the election of the management committee is complete, the group must name three key holders. The cash box has three padlocks. Each of the padlocks has a different key, which is held by one of the key holders. Therefore, the cash box cannot be opened without the consent of the box keeper and all three key holders. The key holders should be three members who are reliable, as they must come to all meetings or the cash box cannot be opened. The three key holders are appointed by the group through discussion and consensus. No vote is required. The members of the management committee are not eligible to be key holders. Seating arrangements. A specific seating arrangement of a CBSG improves the transparency and efficiency of all the group's activities. Members sit in a U-shape which enables all individuals to observe all the operations of the group. The management committee is seated facing the members. Each member of the group is assigned a number starting with the chairperson, continuing to the other members of the management committee and the rest of the members. This order is maintained for the entire cycle and members always sit in the same position. This arrangement improves the efficiency of the savings and lending activities of the group. All procedures are conducted in a systematic manner based on this number order. The fines bowl is positioned in front of the chairperson, normally at the entrance of the meeting place, as a reminder that it is the responsibility of the chairperson to ensure that procedures are followed and the regulations of the group are respected. A low table and stool may be placed in front of the record keeper in order to facilitate record keeping and the cash box is rested in front of the box keeper. The money counting bowl is placed in front of the money counters and must be clearly visible to all members. The working area of the management committee should remain neat, avoiding unnecessary clutter. Materials the CBSGs promoted and trained by AKF and its partners are provided a complete kit of equipment in order to manage their activities. The community-based savings programs of AKF must use lockable cash boxes. This is not an option. The lockable boxes are vital to maintain confidence in the system. The cash box is held by the box keeper who safeguards it between meetings. The box is locked at the end of the meeting and the box keeper cannot open it because he or she does not have the keys. The complete kit of a community-based savings group is comprised of a solid cash box of specific dimensions with two compartments, one with a slot for daily savings, three good quality padlocks, each with two keys, two plastic bowls of different colours, one fines bowl to collect fines and one money counting bowl to collect and count social fund contributions, savings deposits and loan repayments. The bowls need not necessarily fit in the box, they must be large enough to comfortably hold the cash balances of the group's social fund and loan fund. Three drawstring fabric bags of different colours, one for the social fund, one for the loan fund and one to hold the metal tokens used for voting and daily savings. Two ballpoint pens, one blue and one red. Two rubber stamps of different shapes, one for the purchase of shares and another one for the daily savings record. One ink pad and bottle of ink. 25 passbooks. 25 member number cards. A calculator. And 25 metal tokens used for voting and up to 100 if the daily savings option is introduced.